5 was the only local TV station to have the honor of flying with the hurricane hunters yesterday morning. And it was the scientific data gathered on that very flight that led national forecasters to push Irma's track westward. Here's News 5's J.B. Buno to show his experience with a 360-degree spin, literally. As millions flee from Hurricane Irma, this brave crew is heading straight for it. Take a look around. You're in the cockpit with the Hurricane Hunters approaching the eye of Hurricane Irma. With a front row seat, we have Majors Mark Saviglia and Stephen Patu get the helm of this WC-130J. With Major Christopher Harris as the mission's navigator and Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Sisulka as aircraft commander. After hours of plowing inward through Irma's many layers, we come to this moment. Passing through the eye wall into right here, the eye of the storm. It's calm here, although unstable air from Cuba's coast has filled the eye with stray clouds, many of them preventing the jaw-dropping Coliseum effect. If we go back into the cabin, this is why we're here. Lieutenant Colonel Caitlin Woods and Tech Sergeant Jessica Daniel are gathering the precious weather data that would push Irma's forecast track westward, changing Florida's evacuation strategy entirely. It's these daredevils, the hurricane hunters of the U.S. Air Force Reserve, charging into the world's worst storms to gather the data we so desperately need in preparation for the very worst Mother Nature has to offer. With the Hurricane Hunters at 10,000 feet above the Atlantic in this 360-degree report, J.B. Buno for News 5 at WKRG.com. And remember, you can see an in-depth slideshow on riding through the eye of Hurricane Irma, the latest track of the storm, and download a hurricane tracking map on our website, WKRG.com.